clearly there's a lot of reform that needs to happen, especially when it comes to domestic violence. A piece of paper is just a piece of paper. It doesn't stop anyone from hurting you. And until you've been in that situation to understand why people don't leave or how hard it is for them to leave, you know, you can't, you can't grasp it. I, I used to say people were stupid. Like, who would let a man hit them? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I used to say that. And then for years, I got punched and slapped and beat around. My husband was very abusive. Mm -hmm. But not when we first met. When you know, Obviously, because no one would stay with, with, with someone if they mistreated yeah. him in the beginning. In the beginning, it was like he was, like, saving me. But that only lasted, like, five, six months. And then it started being... And it was subtle. Like, like you don't notice it. And he's just very controlling in every way. That's the first time he put me in the hospital. That was he. I was six months pregnant with Lissa, but he had come home that night until he had stopped somewhere and been drinking. And he ended up putting me in the hospital, beat me to the point that when I looked at myself and I didn't even know who I was, my entire face was purple, swollen. I had knots on the top of my head for weeks. Uh, it was bad 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 so I mean and that was kind of my life with him it would we'd have these great periods um and then it would be terrible each time got worse and worse and worse to the point that he you know I knew he was gonna kill me because he told me he was gonna kill me I called the police to tell them that he was breaking this restraining order and that what he was saying and like I said they told me you know what do you, what do you want us to do he's already in jail and then he bonded down and shot me. We, I tried to grab the gun and take the gun from him, uh, but he ended up throwing me down. I fell into the bathroom onto my back and kicked the door shut. He kicked it open and laid the gun pretty much on my chest and shot me. He didn't say a word to me the whole night. He just looked at me and then turned off and walked off. So I picked up my my guts and I was trying to walk out of the house um, when I got to work to my kitchen area I heard him behind me I, I turned around and it was him but you know you're really I was really dizzy all the blood loss and your equilibrium was really off you know with your your insides outside and so I ended up falling down mm -hmm. as he shot me the second time so instead of it hitting me straight on it saved my life because I fell and ended up hitting me at the angle and taking off this whole side of my face. I'm sure he thought I was going to die. And uh, thankfully, I guess maybe, I, I can't, I am only speculating. Uh, so I would say he probably wanted me to suffer because he didn't end it. You know, he could have shot me again in the head mm -hmm. to, you know, to end it and he didn't. So he stood over me and shot himself in the right side of his head and blew yeah. his whole side of his head off. So you saw that happen? Mm hmm I talk in a way that people can't see that my teeth are broken. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't smile anymore. Yeah. You'd have to see what my smile looked like before. <laughs> I had a very big, toothy smile, and now it's... Yeah. because yeah, it's embarrassing. When people see you and you're missing your teeth like that, let's be real, your first thought is not, hey, this person got shot in the face. It's, you know, and I'm skinny on top of it. So a lot of people say, ask, have asked me like about drugs. I don't do drugs. It's embarrassing to me to, to, to have people ask me things like that to begin with. I mean, at one point, like I honestly was kind of pretty suicidal about it because it was like one more thing. I live in constant physical pain, still have pretty severe PTSD and nightmares, you know, from what happened. I've lost 22 pounds. Since when? Um, and just the 22 pounds I've lost, that's in the last three months. And that's just because it's gotten so bad. Like I told you, my mouth keeps swelling up. Uh -huh. and I can't eat. The bullets have killed all the roots of my teeth. So, you know, they're just dying.